Okay, so you can see on the scooter, hopefully you can see this out of this, uh, normal controller here, it's in gear three. I've done 104 miles, 58.3 on my voltmeter. I've got a Knight Rider light on here. This is a Knight Rider, uh, I think it's a 950. Um, this is my horn, my lights. This isn't wired in yet, so it just goes into here, but they're all gonna be going on quite soon. This is a uh, GPS tracking unit, tracks anywhere in the world. Uh, this is a little bell I was given by somebody. Got the new um, berry board uh, deck on top of here, carbon fiber with the logo. Um, I've got the extra steering damper here, so it stops it from damping too far. Um, I have it on quite a firm setting, but it's, you know, it's quite nice. Uh, carbon fiber bumper, which I made. Um, it's got a new shock on the back of it, which you can see here. So it's got a rock shock monarch on the back and you can just uh, set it where you want it and, uh, and away you go. Let me just check, that's actually locked and it is locked when it's up there that's fine um, front bumper is being made up at the moment so that's off it um, okay so here we have um, original shock on the front uh, it's got the nut hydraulic brakes floating discs I know they look the wrong way around both of this but they are actually okay I did check and they're fine <coughs> then it's got um, Swiss stop brake pads um, in both calipers they were about 68 quid they were quite expensive um, but it should uh, stop better i need to breathe this bleed this brake again um i had to do some work on it and actually it's uh, it's now not perfect but you know one of those things and then my alpine star summertime gloves and i've obviously got my hat on and uh it's recording all through my road mic over here and then my sony 4k cam um, i use these for the cars and then on my head i'm using an odor ep7 4k um unit on my head so let's twist this slightly and let's see if we can get a bit of footage. It's gonna rain, so I'm doing a really quick video. So let's just see how we get along. No children here. I hate puddles. I have done some waterproofing though. So um, I siliconed up the deck and I siliconed all the holes. I used rubber grommets around it. And, um, and then I used a rubber sheet on the inside of it. And um, it's all, um, all look much, much better. So we'll go off down here and then um, it's a bit muddy here. It is a bit muddy. Ugh. Not nice. Seriously muddy in fact. So this is just outside of London, this place, and I'm getting caked. Whoa, it's slippy. Uh, I can feel mud flicking everywhere. I've got some seriously muddy trousers on now. This is much muddier than I first anticipated with no front bumper. Only a few months ago this was uh this was fine. This was uh it was summer. It is so slippy and I've got um hybrid tires on but wow seriously slippy whoa and I'm going real slow hang on. whoa hang on a sec let's go over here suspension's good though makes it much much more usable very comfy it's just a bit wow this is just a bit too muddy Uh, you can hear my disc. I've got some serious mud in my disc. Can't wait to get off this mud. Blast a bit of this off. It's much better when there's leaves everywhere. But that was deep, that mud. It was just like, ugh, disgusting. I can hear the discs all 
Let's just slow it. There you go. Keep those a bit of a clean. So slippy today, and it came off. Really slippy. Back onto a path again. Thank you. So you can, whoa, there's a tree down. <laughs> there's me go piling into a tree. Must have fallen down overnight. It's been a bit stormy here. Lots of people around here, this is the only problem, so you have to keep on taking it a little bit more easily, which is, um, it's fine. Yeah, they might not make us do it anyway. Thank you. We really get a bit of speed on down here. Dry these brakes out a bit, which is good. Get the dirt off them. Hello. The only problem is new handlebars. Whoa, they're a bit big. But I've got carbon bars on here now. So you can see here, brand new carbon bars. They're really nice. Um, I actually ordered two. And um, it was a mistake, but I'm going to give one away. So we're going to have a bit of, give, bit of, a, um, bit of a giveaway. And then um, you guys can win a set. Bolt straight on, no hassle, no messing around. So it's, uh, it's quite nice. So scooter is, uh, is going well, had no issues with it whatsoever. It's a fast machine, I'm just wondering if I should go through there. But it looks seriously muddy. I think I'm gonna give that a bit of a wide berth and give it a miss and we'll just, uh, I think we'll just carry on around here for a minute or two. She's still quick. So Scooter is a, it's a 10X, it's got the baby battery, so it's got the, um, the 18AH battery in it. Um, it's uh, 52 volts, it has no issues with, um, with 30 miles an hour, 35 miles an hour, no problem at all. It will go faster, I've had nearly 40 out of it, which I did on GPS, and uh, no issues whatsoever. But it's a bit hairy at that speed, that's why I put the damper in. Damper's made a massive difference. Um, but it's been really good, I've had no issues. Um, I've changed the brakes, they just weren't up to it because um, it didn't have hydraulics and I put the nuts onto it and they're fine. I am thinking about going with the Megaras, um, but it's serious, serious outlay and, and cash, so <coughs> I'm not sure really. But the suspension's awesome on it. Um, it's completely transformed it when I put the Monarch shock, shock on it. Only thing is the shock's expensive. It's about, I paid nearly 300 pounds for it. I think it was 280 pounds, which is a lot of money. Um, but it's damping really, really well. And, um, and it's a comfy ride. Um, 
Headlight's pretty good as well, Night Rider, so I can recommend that. Thank you. Okay, let's get a move on again. It's a bit slippy today, guys. Basically, just when you think it's all right, it starts to slip. You can see my tracks from earlier, my new, uh, my new tires. They're pretty, pretty chunky tires. You can see them down there. But you can hear the, uh, you can hear it slipping. I've got it in dual, and I've got a, uh, oh, got turbo on as well. But it really handles nicely, and this is pretty bumpy. And um. I don't really get too many issues around here with this, I have to say. The brake's feeling a bit better now, they've cleaned themselves out a bit. They need a quick, uh, quick blast down with the hose. It's going to get muddy again. Let's take it off across this field. It's going to get a bit bumpy, guys. I'm sorry about this. Hopefully, it's not going to be too um, too slippy, which it is in fact. It's lethal. Okay. Wow, getting flicked with mud. Nothing quite like a face full of mud. Okay, let's look. Let's just go off across here, away from these people and the dog. Try not to get it too messy. This is a bit firmer, this ground's better than where we went through the other section of the forest. But it's still, it's like being on, whoa, it's just sliding. I've got brake fully on and it's just like sliding everywhere. And this is with the hybrid tires. These got some serious or knobbly tires. So, I mean, God help you if you've got anything that's got more power than this. I think you'd really, really hurt yourself today. I'm being chased. Okay, let's go around then. Get it back on pavement. Too many walkers. Let's get round. That's the only problem, the steering damper does stop you from turning tight corners. There's actually a longer damper which gives you more throw, but I kind of think that defeats the object a bit. So wash these tyres off a bit. 